Hello ladies and gents, um, this is Mike here, Mikkel here, once again, and um, today I'm just going to look at uh, a method that I'm just trying out. Um, I'm starting actually painting from from black and uh, just simply pulling out forms, pull, trying to pull out something from the darkness. And um, yeah, like one of the things that I find interesting that, that you can definitely play around with is when you um, start off black and then there's no color at all and then you start color picking and gradually moving the values up from there you can it's a lot easier to um, play around with the hue shifting I find because um, one thing that is uh, inherently true it well that's that's uh, that you'll notice when uh, when there's something dark uh, when it, when the value gets really low um, for most of the color pickers in like painter or things like that you'll notice that the range of the um, of the saturation is uh, a lot smaller when you get to the ends when you get uh, near black and near white uh, the range of the of the um, <clears throat> of the chroma, what they call it, is uh, a lot smaller. So you can make a really, really uh, large, uh, well, I guess, noticeably large jumps in in warmth and coolness in the darks pretty easily just by moving around the saturation a little bit, moving around the hue a little bit, and. It's really interesting because uh, this cave place seems to have a little bit of blues and a little bit of reds here and there that give a little visual interest that I find pretty neat. It's pretty neat. And then one other thing that I like about uh, painting dark areas is that you can have some fun with uh, some pools of light and uh, pools of light are fun because they're relatively easy to do I guess um, they're not really kind of, they're still hard to get to get effective you just have to choose the right colors and make the, make sure there's a value jump there's enough of a value jump to distinguish between dark and light but yeah this is interesting how um, uh, how it's not too hard to pull from black if you just move the colors around see what um, is facing one direction and shift the hue a little bit or shift the saturation a little bit and you can get that warm to cool um, type of dynamic going on in the dark areas and yeah, I mean, what's what's interesting is that, well, the darker you want to make something, the uh, more contrast you should definitely use in uh, your painting. Um, right now, I'm actually uh, trying to learn how to kick the habit of um, slamming things to straight black or straight white when I want something lit or or um, or something in shadow so this is actually something that's really nice to play around with this just this type of painting of just moving around the colors not necessarily moving around the values but but just playing around with the uh, redness or the blueness or the grayness of the colors that you choose anyway this is a uh, that's it and I hope you enjoyed watching this Hope you learned something. Maybe I learned. Yeah, I did learn something. Take it easy.